Hi, I'm Holly Hirschberg from DinnerGarden.org. It's fall, the weather's turning cooler, and I'm ready to plant my fall garden. I decided to go with a raised bed. Our soil here isn't great, so I'm gonna mix my own soil. That way I'm sure my vegetables will grow. First of all, I'm gonna take my raised bed and I'm gonna put some paper down as a weed barrier. Some people use plastic, some people use a weed barrier they buy. You can use newspaper. Pretty much we just wanna put this down to keep the weeds from growing through. And when you make your own dirt, you have a lot more control over how your plants are gonna grow. I'm gonna start with potting soil. I picked it up at my local grocery store. It's heavy, so be careful when you're doing it. If you need help picking it up, just ask. I'm sure you have a neighbor who would be happy to help you in exchange for some fresh vegetables later in the season. They also sell these in smaller bags too, so don't be intimidated and think you have to get the giant bag. If that's too much for you to deal with on your own, get the smaller. There's a lot more dirt in one bag than you think. I love gardening. I especially love the raised beds because there's so much less work during the season than planting in the ground. I'm not going to have to worry about weeds. I'm not going to have to worry about digging in rock. This is just all the fun of gardening without any of the hard work and misery you remember as a child. Next, I'm gonna add compost. This is a good way to feed your plants. You can make your own compost in your backyard using kitchen scraps. This, I'm just gonna start with some composted manure from my garden store. It's not very expensive, and it'll give my plants a good start in life. And it is composted manure, so you don't have to worry about sticking your hands in anything gross. This is called amending your soil. So a lot of times you'll read in those garden books where they say you need to amend your soil. That just means add some nutrients so your plants grow better. We're gonna mix. I'm just gonna put this on top right now. I'm gonna mix it all up at the end. Next comes peat moss. Peat moss is kind of hard to deal with because it's really solid in here, but that's okay. I'm going to make it happen and you can make it happen too. What peat moss is going to do for the garden is it's going to help it hold water. Here in Texas, we're always in drought, so we always need to add soil amendments that will keep the water by the plants instead of having my plants dry out. So I'm going to go ahead and add some peat moss. You can see it's really light and fluffy and just kind of gets everywhere. But that's what makes it fun. This peat moss is making me work for it. The good news is it's not heavy. It's just kind of stuck together. It's not heavy or, or painful to deal with. It's pretty light. And I really want to get a lot of it in here because I want to give my plants a good chance at getting some water and be able to conserve water in the garden at the same time. There's probably some sort of magic way to do this that other people know about and I don't, but this is what you get from me. And part of the fun of being in the garden is all the dirt. Now you can see there's a lot of peat moss in this bag. You can see there's still a lot left. I'll be able to put this in my potted plants too. All right, now we're gonna mix it all up. I need it all integrated so that every 
bit of my plant gets a little bit of everything. We wanted to get some of the pea moss for the water retention, some of the compost for the fertilizer, and some of the dirt for the other nutrients it needs. So I'm just gonna give it a quick mix. It's not heavy because this is all dirt that I've imported. It's all dry. You know, I'm not gonna have to worry about rocks or weeds or anything like that. That's why I like this method. I can have this garden up and running in 10 minutes. Now the, the raised garden bed here, I made out of a pallet that I took apart and put back together in a different way. You can buy the raised beds at the hardware store if you wanna do that. However you decide to do it works out just fine. Some people use fencing. I like the wood. Okay, I'm gonna break up my big clumps here. My dirt's looking pretty nice. I've been out here, I don't know, maybe five minutes doing this so far. So this is not what I remember from my childhood and you probably remember from yours where gardening just took hours to get everything ready. Break up my clumps and then I'm gonna be ready to plant. Okay, I like being in the dirt so I wanted to get down here and mess with this with my hands. You don't even really need a shovel to mix it. It's, you can see I'm not using any strength here. It's just as easy to do with your hands. And I tell you, it's good exercise as well. So if you're looking for a way to add some exercise into your day, gardening is a great way to start. My dirt's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out. And then you know what? That was quick and easy and I'm ready to plant. Okay, it's fall here in San Antonio, Texas, so I'm gonna plant some plants that are good for fall where I grow. Depending on how cold your temperature is where you grow, that's gonna depend on what you choose to plant. What we're gonna do, what I want you to do is just get on the search engine real quick and do a quick search of what to plant in your area so you'll know you're planting the right stuff. I'm gonna plant peppers because that's gonna grow really well here in fall. I think I'll do some eggplant. I have a tomato over there and I'll put in some some leafy greens. I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick yet. You want to plant what you like to eat. The first time you grow a garden, stick with what you know. You don't want to branch out too much because if you end up growing something that you don't like, you're just going to be miserable. So let me go ahead and get one of these peppers out. Now one pepper plant can produce, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds of peppers. So I don't wanna put in all four. Six peppers came in a pack from my nursery. You can just as easily plant these from seeds. I'm getting started a little bit late in the season. So I wanted to get my plants already going. If you decide to plant from seeds, you're gonna wanna start them indoors a couple weeks before they're supposed to go in the ground. That way they get a little height on them and they're better ready for the season. I'm gonna take these apart very gently because you can see we have the roots there and I don't wanna traumatize my plant. Moving a plant is gonna be hard on the plant, so just try and do things gently. There's the one I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna loosen up the roots just a little bit here. But you can use a trowel. I just use my hands. My dirt's soft and easy to work with. I'm gonna put my pepper in to the dirt, cover it up. I have peppers ready to go. All right, next I'm going to do eggplant. I have my sunglasses on because the sun keeps coming back. I had overcast earlier. It was really nice, it's getting a little hotter now. I'm gonna pick the eggplant with the flower already on it because you know what? Because I wanna feel successful in my garden faster. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Dig a hole, put it in, and I'm good to go. Next, I'm gonna plant kale. I love kale, really good for you. You can eat it so many different ways. My favorite bake it is kale chips with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, so I'm really excited about the kale. Pull it out of the container. Again, you can grow it just as easily from seeds. Don't feel like you have to buy it from the garden store. I'm gonna dig a hole, put it in, I'm almost done with my garden, can you believe it? Less than 10 minutes. My last thing I'm gonna plant, bush beans. I love fresh beans from the garden. This one came to, to a container, so what I'm gonna have to do is break this up so that it's not competing for root space. I'm just gonna kinda of break it apart really gently. Again, don't wanna traumatize your plants, so just do it really, really gently. Kinda of shake off the dirt as you go. We're gonna separate them. They survived. 
I'll plant that one somewhere else. I can plant that in a container in my front yard or something. And put it in here. There we go. I only planted four things. I have about enough root space here for these four. I just don't want to overwhelm myself with too many things to care for. This is a great starter garden. I'm going to get a lot of vegetables from this. And then next year, when I'm a little more confident, I can put in another garden and grow even more. Next, I have to water. I'm in a community garden, so I don't have a water supply. I have to bring in my water. If you have a hose, use your hose. I just brought in my cooler because it's portable. It's easy. I filled it up with tap water, have a cup, and I'm just going to water my plants. Going to want to keep these kind of wet, so maybe come out every day, just depending on the heat where you live or your rain. We don't have rain here in Texas, so I have to water a lot. If you have rain where you live, you'll have to water less. Give my plants some water. They're ready to go. There's my beautiful floral garden in under 10 minutes.